what's up internet? So doing something new today, reviewing the Honda CRZ and hybrid siya. So a lot of people have questions about the hybrid. Does it need more maintenance in a regular car? Kamusta siya sa baha? Alam mo naman sa atin, maulan. And mas matipid ba talaga siya sa gas? So we're gonna explain all of those things. Pero bago nun, balik muna tayo sa computer para sa sponsor natin. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. The first thing people ask about hybrids is how much maintenance does it need? Mas, you know, madali ba siyang masira compared to a regular car? Gaano ba siya ka-reliable? And my experience with this car, 7 years na tong uh, CRZ sa akin, it's just like any other car. It, we have regular maintenance once a year sa casa. And I know a lot of car guys say na don't go to the casa, don't ka na lang sa auto shop mo na trusted. Pero for me, okay na yun na at least safety ka na sa casa and I don't tell them to do everything. I only, you know, pinipili ko lang yung mga pinapagawa ko sa kanila. That aside, yung other regular maintenance once a year sa casa and after that, no problems na. Again, like any other car, once you take care of it once a year, good to go na siya. Second thing that people ask all the time is hybrid. So, Ibig sabihin ng hybrid, it uses a combination of two systems. The regular internal combustion engine na gumagamit ng gasolina. And pangalawa, it also uses electricity. May extra batteries to sa likod kung saan na iipon yung kuryente and it uses that energy, that electricity to make the car run, to power the drivetrain. But a lot of people are worried na kuryente gamit mo para magpatakbo ng sasakyan. How is a hybrid in the tropical setting? The answer is actually not too bad, actually very good. Nalusob ko na rin to sa baha one time. Uh, hindi ko talaga naiwasan, mabaha sa amin, I needed to get home. Napadaan ko sa baha and it made it home okay, but just to illustrate gano'ng kataas na yung water levels, parang dumikit yung brake pads ng kotse. So once it became dry, I tried to move the car. Ayaw na, ayaw na gumalaw. Umaanda rin yung makina, no problem, but I couldn't shift it into gear. Para na, na dikit ata yung brake pads or, or something like that. Sabi ng mechanic, sige sir, ito muna, try natin to. Nakapatay yung makina, pasok mo muna sa first gear. And for the drivers out there, you know na kung inandar mo yan, naka-on yung first gear, tatalon yung kotse. And yun nga nangyari, tumalon siya, na-unstuck whatever was stuck there. And yun, okay na siya after that. I drive it around like normal, no long-term damage to the car. The engine was fine, the battery system, the hybrid system was completely fine and I've been using it for years after that without any problem. So this is where the fun begins. Since it is a hybrid, mas marami na siyang information na binibigay sa'yo compared to a regular car. Parang naglalaro ka lang ng video game actually. Ang dami mga displays. In real time, nakikita mo kung binago mo yung driving style mo how that affects your fuel performance. There's a bunch of modes that you can see here. So this is the first display that you have. Kumbaga, how green your ride is, itong tutubo yung mga green plants na to dito sa display. It starts out with zero at the start of each ride, and as you go through the ride, tas mas maganda nga yung fuel efficiency mo, tumutubo yung mga plants dyan. The next display, it saves the last four rides. This is a real-time display again where it shows you your kilometers per liter, then you can compare it to your last three previous drives. So yung current drive natin ngayon, parang we're doing around 8 kilometers per liter which is not so good generally we can do better especially kung nasa highway but at least mako-compare mo na oy parang off ako ngayon or sobrang traffic kasi kaya hindi mo ma-meet yung targets mo dun sa kilometers per liter the next display is the average over time sa buong 7 years that I've been using this car yung total average ko per liter is 10.7 Again, not so good. Sinisisi ko yung traffic. Hindi naman ako super kaskasero sa daan, I don't think. Traffic really brings your kilometer per liter way down. 
kaya tumaas lang to kasi paminsan yung pinapatakbo po to sa Baguio, sa Tagaytay and longer drives, walang traffic, usually mas mataas si fuel efficiency mo kaya 10.7 to but if this were just a regular city car, I think it would be much lower the next display is the range currently it's telling me na I have 340 kilometers left kinocompute niya to based on your driving style ah ito, usually 10.7 kilometers per liter tapos ilang liters na titira sa tanke and that's how it gets the range so Naka customize siya, it learns your driving style and then it computes from there how far left can you go. Elapsed time, just the elapsed time that we have on the current drive. So once you turn this off, it goes back to zero. And average speed is 16 kilometers per hour, which again is pretty low. So this display, nakikita mo what's powering your car, whether it's gas, whether it's electric, and whether you're charging your batteries. Kasi yung hybrid, saan niya kinukuha yung kuryente na iniipon niya dun sa mga batteries? When you're moving forward, the batteries charge up, and it's also from regenerative braking. Actually, the Prius, the Toyota Prius na yung pinakasikat na hybrid, does this better. Ito, hindi ganun kaganda yung capture niya, how much electricity you generate from when you brake. It's from those two modes, when you're moving forward and when you're braking and it charges at the battery and this also has a display that it tells you how much charge you have left in the battery. Question, paano kung fully depleted na yung battery? Kung baga cell phone, zero charge ka na, aandar pa ba yung kotse? Yes, no problem, that's not a concern. The CRZ can run fully just on the gas engine. At nangyari na sa akin before na in traffic, talagang magzi-zero yung battery kasi stop-go siya. It also uses the battery to start your engine again and that depletes the battery over time. So it can occur nga na you're not moving enough to recharge the batteries. Magzi zero talaga siya. But no worries, ni karaman hihinto sa daan. As long as you have gas, just like a regular car, it will still function. Another fun thing about this car is it has three different driving modes. Again, it's like a video game. Parang nagtotoggle ka lang ng driving modes dito. So the first mode is Econ. And Econ is, the acceleration is very slow. Hindi naman Innova levels slow. Kasi I've driven a lot of Innovas also. Yung acceleration ng Innova parang go-kart. Sobrang baba ng acceleration. Yung Econ mode ni CRZ, di naman ganun kalala na parang Innova. But kailangan mong umapak sa gas pedal para lang umarangkada konti. And you want to use Econ mode, of course, in traffic. Kasi yun nga, you don't need a lot of acceleration. Okay lang na sobrang baba ng acceleration nung sasakyan mo. In normal mode, it's just like any other regular sedan type car. Comparable to a Civic in terms of feel, comparable to an Altis. It's nothing great. Pwede pang overtaking, konting, you know, you, you, you feel like you want to get a little speed. Normal is fine for that mode. Definitely, mararamdaman mo ang layo ng difference dun sa econ mode tsaka normal mode. Mas responsive talaga acceleration sa normal mode. But the most fun mode is the sports mode. When you toggle sports mode, the display turns red. It says sport. So parang dun palang visually, sinasabi ng kotse sa'yo na, Uy, pre, iba to. You've enabled sports mode. And when you toggle sports mode, not only does your display turn red, but ang bilis na nung acceleration niya. And you, you can't feel it, but the, the differences automatically nararamdaman mo when you're driving. Konting apak mo lang sa gas, ang bilis. Bilis ng acceleration. You notice? Kahit ako na bigla. I'm not saying that I tried to do 0 to 100 one time on Ayala Avenue during the pandemic. I'm not saying that, but it's on sports mode that you really feel na, uy, ito yung parang sports aspect ni CRZ because they do market it as a sporty hybrid. Even the handling of the car changes. Konting galaw mo lang sa manubela. Sobrang responsive na nung car, nung car movements. Um, and you don't feel that in the regular, in the normal mode and the econ mode. And so sports mode is really intended for the times that you want to let loose. <laughs> and you want to overtake somebody on the highway. You need fine control. Let's say, I don't know, for some reason. And of course, I don't advocate drag racing or anything. If you're in situations where you need a lot of speed, but at the same time, you need a lot of precise control in the car, that's when you enable sports mode. And the cherry on top is the speed boost. Dagdag pa to sa sports mode, you can engage speed boost in any mode. It's engaged just by a button here on the steering wheel. And that one gives you like an extra 10 to 15 seconds na kumbaga lahat ng energy dun sa batteries parang tinatapon niya dun sa makina. So it's basically telling the car, go as fast as you can 
based on the mode that you're in. May monitor siya dito. You can't enable speed boost anytime. You need to be traveling at a certain speed. And then, uh, you need to have enough charge in the batteries. Tapos, the display will light up here na pwede ka na mag speed boost. And when you do a speed boost, the display also turns red to let you know na if you're in the other non-sports modes, if you do speed boost, pupula yung display to let you know na you've engaged speed boost. And again, it's very noticeable. Parang discernible talaga yung pickup niya. Kasi yung ginagamit niya yung kuryente, may whine talaga. You can really hear a high-pitched whine when the speed boost is engaged. Let's try to get it on. Yeah. The ready and let's engage speed boost. You notice it turns red. Your full assist. Like 70 now, and let's hope nobody complains. <laughs> yung maganda din sa hybrid, na yung makina when it's on idle. So let's say you're in traffic, you pull up to the car in front of you, you put the stick in neutral, and any other car, tuloy tuloy lang yung makina mo, you're still burning gasoline. Pero dito sa hybrid, the CRZ calls it auto stop, and the engine will die. It's really a feature na para di ka magaksaya ng gasolina. Habang naka-stop ka, the engine is off but the car is still on. And you never noticed before how loud an engine is even on idle until you're in a hybrid and you're in traffic and you glide to a stop and suddenly ang tahimik inside your car and all you can hear outside are the engines of the other cars. Hindi ko to napansin dati pero when I started driving the CRZ and nag-auto stop siya, parang napansin ko ang ingay pala talaga nung internal combustion engines. But inside, you're inside the cabin of your car. Parang tahimik, you know, sobrang stressful ng traffic but it kind of adds sometimes to the zen moments na you just wanna, okay, just relax lang, traffic, wala ka na magawa but at least inside your car, it's quiet and at the same time, hindi ka nag-aksaya ng pera, you're not burning any gasoline, your aircon also goes off because since the engine is off, it changes the kind of electricity I think it's using from AC to DC, so yung aircon mo May buga pa rin siya, pero parang electric fan na lang siya. Yung buga niya hindi na malamig. For some people, this is an issue because they want to keep cool all the time. For me, it's not. I don't mind, to be honest, na nagiging electric fan siya. Kasi in traffic, 20-30 seconds later, aandar ka na ulit, bubukas ulit yung aircon na uh, with the cold air coming out. Some drivers are worried na, ah, yeah, the engine turns off. Eh, paano yun? Pag nasa traffic ka, kailangan mo ulit umandar ka agad. But it's... It's effortless. Pag naka auto stop ka and you need to go, you just shift it into first gear and it's like, wala lang. Parang naka neutral ka. Pag shift mo sa first gear, nandun na ulit yung makina. That's one feature I really like about the CRZ, which I think a lot of the other hybrids have as well. I'm not sure about the Leaf, but definitely I think the Prius ganun na siya. On the aesthetics of the car, to be honest, I really like how the car looks. One thing that immediately drew me to this car, it doesn't look like a Lola car. Uh, yung problema sa Toyota Prius, yes, it's much more fuel efficient, it's a hybrid, but it's very boring. Yung maganda sa CRZ, it's small but terrible, pocket rocket. It looks like a sports car even though it's a hybrid. It's not as sporty as let's say the Toyota 86, which is roughly around the same price range as this thing. But it's sporty enough with its two doors na parang feeling mo na it sets you apart and especially when the car was still new you would see kids turning their heads look at the car one time I was in Baguio tapos may napasigaw talaga na oh CRZ parang ganyan you do get a little bit more attention on the road because the car is quite uncommon it's not something you regularly see and it's not for everybody syempre kanikanyang taste yung aesthetics even 7 years later pa minsan tinitingnan ko pa rin siya like I'm just looking at it in the garage na damn this is a good looking car <laughs> may isang video tayo na about PC cases and I, yung payo ko dun sa PC cases video is that you need to fall in love with the case kasi you see it every day yun din yung payo ko for you know if you're choosing your own car you really gotta love the aesthetics it does have this weird fin parang there's a shark's fin in the very center of the car on top on the roof Ako, I don't mind it. I think, you know, it's a nice little flourish to the aesthetic. Actually, my Lola hated it. Parang she would always make fun of the CRZ na ang auto na na ay pako, which uh, in Visaya means the car with the fin, basically. I actually bought this when I was still a bachelor. Then I got married. Um, binili ko to nung wala pa akong asawa kasi nung may asawa na ako, baka di na ako payagan. Two-door sports car with a fin on top. I, it's more like, yun nga, it's more like a bachelor's car. And buti na lang na pinapayagan pa rin ako ni Mrs. na gamitin kahit na kasan na kami. <laughs> kasi sayang naman, di ba? <laughs> Nabili na. It's a two-door car and it's basically a two-seater. Two people can sit comfortably in front. There is a jump seat in the back, but it's a joke, man. I mean, the, the leg room there is terrible in the back. It's really hard to climb in and climb out. 
we've had four adults in this car for a very short period of time, maybe like a 15-minute drive, just getting from point A to point B. So it is possible, but not very comfortable, and I wouldn't recommend it. But on the upside, the trunk space is quite generous, especially with the jump seat down. You know, we use this car all the time to transport Logan the Husky, our mascot of the shop. And that's why you can see in a lot of the B-roll, there's a lot of husky fur, white fur all over the place because Logan does get uh, driven around a lot. Siya yung boss, ako yung driver niya. The seat is very comfortable. I've driven hours here, yung up to Baguio, up to Dagaytay, no problem. In traffic, you can kind of lean back and kind of just sigh na, hi, nako, traffic na naman. But, you know, the, the back support is very good, it's very comfortable. I did my research when deciding to buy this thing. Parang mas comfortable yung seat nung Toyota 86. The 86 just kind of molded itself better to my back and to your body. Parang mas yinayakap ka nung Toyota 86 na seat. I do have to give it to the 86. Parang mas comfortable yung chair niya. But the chair of this thing is still very comfortable. Um, there's sports trim in the stitching of the seat and things like that to go with the overall aesthetic na medyo sporty. But comfort level is very good and you can spend hours in it without feeling like you know, parang asakit na likod mo and things like that. Points to consider if you are thinking of getting the CRZ. It is lowered because the profile is lower because pa sports mode nga yung dating. The problem with that is and dalas nya sumayad sa daan. The underside of the front will really scrape on tall humps or inclined, like you're on an incline and then like driveways na sobrang taas nung elevation bigla or yung potholes, yun. Over the years, ang dami na talagang battle damage nitong CRZ, especially dun sa front. It's not the car's fault. Um, yun talaga yung design niya. I, I, it's just na yung road conditions talaga sa atin, hindi ganun kaganda and hindi mo talaga may wasan. Actually, the first time na I scraped the front was wala pang 15 minutes. I bought it from Honda Show. Problema sa Honda Show, yung Naka-store yung car sila dun sa taas nung ano, it's like on the second floor, driveway siya. Tapos yung the bottom of that driveway, where the driveway meets the level part, sobrang steep. So ayun, tumama yung kotse, simulang-simula pa lang. <laughs> Ang sakit, I just bought the car first time na dinadrive ko siya. You can try to maneuver the car na one front tire goes first, then the other tire. But Kung masikip, impossible talaga yun. So there will be situations where the front will really scrape. I made peace with it, pero yun, ganun talaga. So just really the driving conditions dito sa atin. Lastly, my only real complaint about this car is the visibility in the 4 o'clock position. Because of the trunk and because of the way it's designed, there is basically zero visibility in the 4 o'clock position. And when you're trying to maneuver, you're in a center lane, you're trying to move to the right. And aside from looking in the side mirror, you also want to check visually. So most drivers will turn their head 60 degrees or so to look at the 4 o'clock position. And there's nothing, you can't see anything. So for situations like that, you're coming out of a blind corner, um, you need to check. It's really very difficult to do it safely. So you have to inch your way forward. Maybe they could have installed a camera system, but of course that increases the cost. Maybe increase the visible portion, but that would have meant redesigning the trunk. I understand that there were engineering limitations to the hatchback design, and that feeds into why the 4 o'clock position visibility is terrible. Paminsan kinakabahan ako na, you know, it's a busy road and I'm trying to merge and I can't see properly because yung, uh, you're basically looking at the trunk and you can't see outside at the 4 o'clock position. One minor complaint also, but it's also because the car is so small and compact, is the turn radius is very tight. If you're used to longer cars, let's say the Accord or the Camry, in your mind, when you're driving, you're giving yourself allowance when you turn. But the CRZ, the turn radius is so tight that I I've, I've bump the rear tire. Sometimes you are turning and you hit the concrete island or you bump the sidewalk. I really love this car. Um, it was the first car I ever bought na ako talaga pumili with my own money, with my own hard-earned money. And I did my research and I wanted a hybrid because, you know, 
save the planet. I really do try to be as eco-friendly as possible. That's why we have solar panels in our house. We, I've done a video about that. I've talked about before in Hardware Sugar how we put things in place na, you know, you don't want extra packaging, wala nang bubble wrap, let us know para iwas tayo sa waste. So we, I really do try to uh, do the business and live my own life as eco-friendly as possible. So I wanted a hybrid. But at the same time, you know, I, I, I like cars, I like driving, I like going fast. So, medyo kailangan ko nung something, you know, na hindi ako mabibitin, na when I need to go fast, the car will be there for me. The CRZ was the perfect combination of that. It can ease my guilty eco conscience. And seven years later, the Onyx season, I went with the Honda CRZ. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans, Asher Gabe Anima Mundi, Mark Anthony Palanya, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, D. Pry Shon, ITX Addict. Your support literally makes the channel possible and for everyone else, please keep watching those ads. Thanks and stay safe.